Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at the use of Coulomb's Law with regards to proportional reasoning, meaning how much did the force increase or decrease when certain variables like charge and distance were changed, but we'll also take a look uh, in a later video on how to do force electric force calculations by inputting values for charge and the distance between them. So let's begin. When we have two charges labeled Q1 and Q2 separated by a distance R between them, uh, one of the things that we found out from the labs we did together, the Coulomb's Law Gizmo Lab, was that the force, the electric force, is proportional to charge, Q. But we also learned that it wasn't just proportional to charge, it was actually proportional to the product of the two charges, charge one times charge two. We also found that it was proportional to uh, one over the distance factor squared, okay? Uh, where F, F is called the force factor, meaning how much bigger or smaller is the force getting when charge or distance are changed? A couple of things to consider. One, if we get an answer, a force factor of one, this means the force is the same. It stays the same. The force does not change. If we end up getting a force greater than one, say we get a force value of two, three, five, sixteen, one hundred, it doesn't mean 100 newtons of force. It means the force is 100 times greater. So if we get a force value that's greater than 1, the force has increased. If we get a force value that's less than 1, well, then the force has decreased. Now, what we will do is we're going to put all of this together into one relationship that looks like this. Force is proportional to charge 1 times charge 2 over R squared. What we now have to do in these proportional reasoning problems, and you'll know it's a proportional reasoning problem when you're not given specific values of charge and distance. You're just told that it doubles, triples, cuts in half. You're told the change of the variable. You're not told the actual variable. So when it's a proportional reasoning problem, we're going to start every problem by replacing charge 1, charge 2, and R with parentheses like this, bubble times bubble over bubble squared. I kind of call these parentheses bubbles because they look like bubbles to me. And we're going to literally start every problem just like this. Okay? Please feel free to pause or rewind this video as needed. Let's begin. Number one. What happens to the force between two charges if the distance between them is tripled? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my proportional, my proportionality of bubble times bubble over bubble squared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question one more time. It doesn't tell us that the charge has changed, but it says the distance has tripled. So remember, distance was, was the R value down here. So I'm going to replace the distance with 3, because 3 means tripled. Since neither of the charges changed, I'm going to put the, a 1 for them. And I get 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 squared is 9, and I get a force of 1 ninth. What does this mean? Force has decreased by a factor of 9. That's just one way to state it. You could say the force is nine times smaller. A lot of ways you could state what that is. Number two. What happens to the force if the distance between them is quadrupled? So similarly, the charges do not change. So I'm going to put a one in place of both charges, but I'm going to put a four down for R because quadrupled means four times larger. 
Okay, the math looks like 1 times 1 is 1 on the top over 4 squared, which is 16 on the bottom. And we could write that as the force. You could say the force is decreased by a factor of 16, or you could say the force is 16 times smaller. A lot of ways you could state what that force factor actually means. But it's important to be able to write the force factor and the meaning of the force factor in a sentence so that you can really relate to its meaning. Number three. What happens to the force between the two charges if the distance between them is cut in half? Well, again, the charges do not change, so 1, 1, but I'm going to put a 1 half in place of r the distance. And I get 1 over 1 is 1, over 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Now, when you divide a fraction by a fraction, it's really the same thing as 1 over 1 over 1 over 4. And when we do this, we take the top fraction, 1 over 1, and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction, 4 over 1, in which case I get 4. What does this mean? The force is 4 times larger. Or you could say the force is quadrupled, or the force has increased by a factor of 4. But now we get a number that's greater than 1, so we're talking about the force getting bigger, this time not smaller. Number 4. What happens to the force if one of the charges is doubled? So I'm going to double one charge. Which charge do you double? It doesn't matter, because they're being multiplied together. So one charge is doubled, the other charge remains the same, and the distance is the same as well. So on the top, the numerator is 2 times 1 is 2, over 1 squared is 1, and we get an answer of 2, a force factor of 2. This means the force has doubled. Number five, what happens to the force between two charges if both charges are doubled? Let's take a look. The distance remains the same, so we put a 1 in place of r, but both charges double this time. Therefore, we get 2 times 2 is 4 on the top, over 1 squared is 1, and we get an answer of 4, a force factor of 4. We already talked about that. The force has four times larger. I'm going to say it a different way this time. The force has quadrupled, right? That's another way of saying four times larger. Okay. Number six. This time, what happens to the force between two charges if the magnitude of both charges are doubled and the distance is doubled? In other words, we double everything. Well, on the top, the numerator is 2 times 2, or is 4. And the bottom, the denominator, is 2 squared, which is also 4. And we get a force factor of 1. Remember what that means, ladies and gentlemen. A force factor of 1 means the force has not changed. Or you could say the force remains the same, or the force is unchanged, or the force stays constant, right? A lot of ways you could state that. But the force did not get bigger, nor did it get smaller. And number seven. What happens to the force between two charges if the magnitude of both charges is doubled and the distance is cut in half? So both charges are double, and the distance is cut in half. Well, the numerator, the numerator would be 2 squared, two, or 2 times 2 is 4, over the bottom, which is 1 half squared, or 1 fourth. Remember how this works, ladies and gentlemen? This is the same thing as 4 over 1 for the numerator, divided by 1 over 4, which is the same thing as 4 over 1 times the reciprocal of 1 fourth, which is 4 over 1. And we get 16. What does 16 mean? The force is 16 times larger. 
again, please rewind the video as needed and don't forget to ask me any questions that you feel you need to. Thank you.